Hey guys, it's Kale. So today is more of a serious video, as you can tell by the title. Um, this is an experience I had when I was in high school. Um, I am from Canada, so this is kind of a big deal because, you know, you don't really hear about things happening here. Um, I did post this story time on my TikTok. If you're not following it, I'll link it down below. But this video did end up going viral and, you know, I got hundreds and hundreds of comments and people having all these questions and things. Um, but I felt like it was important for me to share it on here um, because of the message. And, you know, the message is that so many things, so many of these situations can be prevented if, you know, you notice something and it doesn't seem right, like you need to speak up. And this is, you know, an example of one of those situations that... You know, I feel that if I didn't say anything, something would have happened and, you know, a lot of people would have lost their lives and I just feel like I need to raise awareness on this subject and just because it did go so viral on TikTok, I know it made an impact on people sharing that story so I thought it was important to share it here. So I am going to play the TikToks that I posted um, and then stay tuned till the end of the video and I'm going to answer some frequently asked questions that... I got on my TikTok. This is the story of how I prevented a school and this is just a trigger warning that I will be talking about. And the reason that I'm not saying the word and I'm doing this is because I don't want to get banned. So. so for some context, this happened to me when I was in high school. So in, I think it was 2018 or 2017. And this happened around the time that, I think it was like the day after, if you guys remember like the Nicholas Cruz, like school, like that story. So I'm from Canada and compared to the United States, we have more control over so this is just crazy and i was debating on sharing this story i didn't really want to just because i do have a lot of trauma from it but i do feel that the message that is from this story may be helpful okay so let's get into this story like i said it was when i was in grade 12 so i think it was 2018 i can't remember if it was my first or second semester so there was this guy who was in my class he was in my english class and he was in my grade 11 and 12 English class and I always thought he was just kind of like, I don't know, troubled? Like I remember he used to just say like really crazy things and like no one would take him seriously. So I remember one day and I'll never ever forget this day because this is the most scared I've been in my entire life. I'll never forget how I felt. So it was the last class of the day and it was towards the end of the day and my teacher walks out i think she went to like the printer or something to get something and i remember my teacher walked out of the room and like 30 seconds after she left the room this guy he was like okay that's enough everybody get down like i have a i remember my stomach dropped my heart was racing beating out of my chest and nobody took him seriously like all the other kids were like yeah okay and like they said his name and they're like shut up like you're not funny and i remember him saying no no guys i'm serious i'm serious i've had enough and like growing up like i am extremely observant of people i've always been this way and like i always remember like people like telling me to like stop staring and like i just sit there and i observe everybody so i feel like i'm really good at reading people and I remember this entire class, like, I was like, he's acting different. Like, he, he couldn't sit still, and, like, he was just acting really weird. But then he reached down in his bag, and as my teacher walked back in, he, like, got up like this and was, like, like, so weird. But this is when the story gets really crazy, so I'll see you guys in part two. This is part two of how I prevented a school, so trigger warning. So, like I said, he, like, reached down in his bag, but then my teacher came in, and as she was coming back in the room, she said something, and he, like... I don't know he just kind of jumped and it, that was like really weird to me and like this was at the end of the day and like i don't know nobody really cared to be honest and i'm just sitting there like i'm gonna pass out like i remember i could not move i felt so sick i literally thought i was about to die and i remember the girl that was sitting next to me was so mean she's like are you okay and she's like he was just kidding he's not actually gonna do it i just remember like me like having like fear and like panic and like someone saying that to you is not okay anyways i remember i could not move and i just sat there for the rest of the class which i think was like half an hour like 20 minutes 
and then my teacher dismissed us and everyone left and I remember I literally could not move like my legs are frozen and I was just like in fear and I just I couldn't move so everyone leaves and my teacher notices I'm still sitting there which like isn't that weird for me because I usually would talk to her after class like we had a pretty good relationship but she came over to me and she's like, what's going on? Like, you're really pale. And she's like, you look like you're going to pass out. And I literally just explained to her what happened. And she took that so seriously. Thank God. And you'll find out why. Like, I'm telling you right now, she did not take that lightly. We went right down to the office and we called the police. We got the principal involved. We got literally got everyone involved. And we made a statement. And I was just in fear. I went home that day and I remember telling my mom. And, like, I don't have a good relationship with my mom. But, like, my mom got so upset because this just happened with, like, the Nicholas Cruz situation. If you guys remember that, like, that was so fresh. So, like, this was, like, a big thing. And, like, in Canada, like, we don't get things like this. Like, you hardly ever hear about school. Like, thank God. But, yeah, the school took this really seriously. And this story gets really crazy. So, the next day, I decided not to go to school because I was just so anxious about it. And then I decided to go to school the next day and like the first thing when I saw my teacher like she pulled me aside and We had a really good conversation and she told me some really crazy things She was such a sweetheart and she like obviously reassured me that I was safe and like everything was being dealt with But she told me that they've been investigating and they found some stuff. You guys are gonna have to go to the next part I'm so sorry. Okay. Welcome to part three of me telling the story of how I prevented a school trigger warning so i go back to school i talk to my teacher and she reassures me she makes me feel really safe and she tells me that this student actually did end up getting suspended and there's a whole like police investigation going on but here is the extremely scary part so upon investigation when they were like looking at cameras and stuff that same day they have video footage of him at his locker showing his friends in the hallway his this is in Canada, so, like, this is, like, extremely scary because how did this kid get a... And, like, she was telling me that, like, the kids in the videos, like, they didn't even care. Nobody reported it, and he was literally just, like, showing it off. Like, he just thought he was, like, the coolest thing ever. So, the even crazier part is that they actually searched his locker, and the... that they found in his locker, which is absolutely insane, was not the same one that was seen in the video footage. So, that means that this kid had not one but two and then at this point obviously there's like rumors going around and stuff and i remember he decided to post on his snapchat story and like everyone was sending this to each other screenshotting it he was like oh my god got expelled and he was like i wasn't actually gonna do it and then he was like you guys are so dramatic anyways the purpose of me telling you this story is that you should always always trust your gut and no matter what you should take any threat seriously so this obviously could have ended a lot worse and it is extremely alarming that none of these kids took it seriously. I mean, we live in Canada, so like it kind of, we don't really hear about it often, but the point of me sharing this story is because we need to be educating our kids that we need to take all things seriously. This 100% prevented a school and I honestly believe with all my heart that this would have happened if I didn't say anything. You never know what goes through people's minds and what their actual intentions are. So even if someone does make a joke about something like this, like you should really do something about it. And I'm so, so happy that my school took this so seriously. I think all schools should learn from this. I think the school took all appropriate action, which is amazing to see. And I honestly think that this did prevent a school Okay, so let's talk about that situation. Like I said, I got a lot of comments on my TikTok about this. People had a lot of things to say. Um, and the purpose of me sharing this story was because I want to show how important it is to speak up. If you see something, if you don't feel right about something, you always need to say something. You never know what it could turn into and what people's you know, real intentions are. So I truly feel like me speaking up really did you know, save people's lives or whatever would have happened. It was an awful experience, terrifying experience, and I still have trauma to this day from it, but I just thought it was important to share my story. Um, okay, let's get into some of these questions. So somebody said that you're telling me that you don't remember the year, month, or day, that probably the most traumatizing thing that could happen to someone. So in the video, I say it either happened in 2017 or 2018, and the reason that I didn't know at the time is because I was in grade 12 and in grade 12 um, I don't know how it works in other places but um, the first semester you're in 
is one year and then the second is the other. Now that I think about it, it was in the summer, so it would have been 2018 and I would have been 18 years old. Um, so yeah, it happened in 2018, but a lot of the time with trauma responses, and this is like a normal thing that people go through, is your brain doesn't want to remember those things, so they kind of block it out. And that is something that I've experienced with this and other traumatic experiences in my past. So, I mean, in that moment when I was sharing that story, I feel like I did forget some details because of that. But yeah, that, that answers that question, I hope. Um, this one's not really a question, but... Um, I got a lot of questions saying, um, or sorry, a lot of comments saying, I swear influencers think they rule the world and everything happens because of them. Um, first of all, I wouldn't call myself an influencer. Um, second of all, if you listen to the full story instead of just watching, you know, part one or part two, um, there's meaning behind me posting this. I'm not just posting this to get views. Like I, I'm actually passionate about this and this is a huge issue in today's society and something needs to be changed and you know as a community I feel that the only thing that we can do is use our voices to you know you see something you speak up and a lot of the times when you hear about these you know school shootings um, you know there's a lot of like warning signs and nobody nobody says anything nobody speaks up so that's why I felt it was important to share this um, story so um, somebody else said, by the way, for anyone who gets caught in one, use the fire, fire extinguisher, it can bling them, make them slip, stun them, or get in the mechanisms of the weapon. I thought this was really important to share. I mean, as messed up as it is that we have to share this, I mean, that's a strategy if you're ever in a situation, you know, you can, you know, grab something heavy and try to fight them off. It's just terrifying to think about, but I thought I would share that one. Another comment, guys, it's fake. She prevented nothing her teacher did. My teacher didn't. Um, yes, she supported me and helped me, but my teacher wasn't there when these things were happening and it was me that came forward and said something. No one else said anything. My teacher would have ha had no idea that this was going on if I didn't come forward. So that's why I'm saying it's important if you see something to speak up because in this situation, you know, it, it was going to happen, so... Someone said, how do you say it so casually? Honestly, um, I've told this story to like a lot of my friends and family members and you know, it happened to me when I was 18. I'm 23 now, so it's something that, you know, I've worked through through therapy and things like that. So I'm a little bit more comfortable talking about it. I'm not saying it casually because it wasn't a big deal because it was. Um, I guess I'm just kind of more comfortable talking about it now than when it initially happened because I've I've worked through it you know what I mean I'm and then the next one is like unrelated to the situation but people keep talking about my earrings okay and I did a separate video talking about it but basically when I first got my ears pierced when I was 12 I ripped the earring um when I was getting changed I got caught on my shirt so it sits very very low and when I wear heavier earrings it like tugs on it so as you can see, this one's like normal and then this one's lower. So I don't know why people felt the need to like comment that, but, and then just a lot of comments on how did you even prevent it? And again, like if you see something, speak up, you never know, you know, what can happen. You need to step up. No one took it seriously. Everyone thought it was a joke, right? And it clearly wasn't. So always trust your gut. Um... Yeah, and then a lot of the questions are where where am I from? I'm from Ontario, Canada, Ontario, um, a small town near Toronto. Um, so it's just crazy that this even happened because you never hear about things like this in Canada. So anyways, I hope that um, was helpful to you guys. I hope you learned something and I hope, you know, you share this with other people so that we can raise awareness and make sure that, you know, Always trust your gut. If you have a bad feeling about something, you need to say something, you need to step up. You have no idea what people's true intentions are and that can go a long way. So anyway, sorry that this video was a little bit more serious, but I wanted to use my platform to share this story just because I feel for people and especially in the United States, like it's just so, so sad 
what's been going on. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you like this video, make sure you like it, subscribe to my channel, and turn the notification bell on so you never miss a video. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!